Andrea with the Plant Based Executive, and today I am going to make protein donuts. So, if you have been following me at all on social media, you will see that I have at least one of these every day at the end of every day as a nice little treat. Um, they are loaded full of protein, they are a wonderful snack, and they're super easy to make. So, I actually triple the recipe. Um, so it fits into two of my donut pans, so I feel, I feel like if I am pulling two of them out, I might as well utilize them all the way. Um, so I have all the ingredients ready to go. I actually blend everything in my Vitamix, which is right behind me, um, because I, I feel like it really blends things a lot um, better. And I just buy oats from the bulk bin and turn it into oat flour. So it saves a couple bucks and it's easy. Um, so let me take you over here and I will show you the rest of this. So I have all the ingredients set out. I have protein powder, which is from True, and I really love it. And this time I decided to do birthday cake flavor. We have some flaxseed, we have some vital wheat gluten, uh, baking soda, baking powder, cocoa powder, and then we have um, the oats. So as you can see, these are full oats, and then as soon as I put them in the blender, they will turn into oat flour and water. So that is about it. You can see that it's just all flour right now. It's all incorporated, nice and blended up, and ready to be mixed up. Okay, so I've just dumped in everything from the Vitamix, and I am going to add the water. You can also choose to use a plant-based milk if you would prefer that. Um, I just like to use water to save a little bit on my macros and I think the flavor is still great. So just mix this up real good. You can try this with all kinds of different flavors of protein powder also. So just kind of depending on what you want to do, I kind of mix it up pretty much every time just to see if I find a new flavor combination that is my favorite. And I have just recently gotten this birthday cake uh, protein and I'm pretty excited to try this one so I think it'll be a fun combination and from here we will just put these into the donut pans so I actually sprayed these this time for whatever reason the last couple times I've put these in they've kind of stuck to the pan so that was a little frustrating so I thought you know what I'm just gonna put some um, spray on here and see what happens there's all kinds of different ways that you can do this. I've seen people actually pipe them in, but I just wanna have as few things as possible to clean. So this is how I do it. They're not the prettiest as I'm putting them in, but it works and that is really all that matters. I've seen different methods to even these out and I actually just recently saw someone who kind of just took their donut trays and dropped them. And that seems to be kind of the easiest and the most effective. So that is how I have done it for probably the last, I don't know, five or six batches of donuts. You could use a brownie tray on this. I found that that takes them a lot longer to cook 
Um, so I actually did invest in some donut trays. They only cost, I don't know, I think like $12 or something, maybe less for uh, three of these pans. Um, and I am going to put them in the oven at 350. I'm gonna get this last little dollop in here. I'm gonna put them in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. So I will come back soon. Okay, we are going to see if they are done and if they should be this time. I'm gonna test them out here. I think these are pretty good. So I am going to let these cool for probably 30 minutes or so before I do anything with them. Okay, so I am about to make the glaze for the protein donuts and it is super simple. It is um, powdered peanut butter and sugar-free maple syrup. So it's super easy. Just mix these two together and then you have an amazing glaze to go on your donuts. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the glaze on here. Again, you could put this in a piping bag or something to make it go on a little fancier. Um, I just want it to go on the donut, so I don't really care. I'm not working on presentation awards here. We have a finished product. So they aren't the most beautiful donuts in the world, but they are so good. And I will list the macros down in the description box also, but these are about 20 grams of protein each. So that is awesome. And I think I mentioned it earlier, but I went ahead and mixed up uh, three other batches. So this is 12 donuts per container. Um, so I will be set for the next several weeks and I won't have to mix anything up. I will just have to grab this out of the pantry and add water, mix it and bake it. Okay guys, so it is the end of the day and I am going to enjoy this donut. Let me bring it in a little close. Like I said, I am not trying to win any awards for um, the prettiest presentation here. I just want something that tastes amazing. Um, so it has, um, it's a protein, protein donut with a peanut butter or PB2 glaze. And I will post the uh, recipe in the notes, but make sure to follow Fiddy RN Andy on uh, Instagram, which is who I got the recipe from. So you guys always like to see a taste test. Mm. It's awesome, just like always. Please give this a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe below. And until next time, see you guys.